This video is sponsored by Blair's Wire Bonsai Trees. For unique and personalized pieces of beauty and artwork, check out the link in the description and use coupon code BeastlyGamer for 10% off your order. What's up everybody, Beastly Gamer here, welcome to the channel. Guillermo del Toro, if you guys don't know who this guy is, a very talented writer and director. If you want to see some of his greatest work, check out a movie called Pan's Labyrinth that came out about a decade ago, but it's an amazing, amazing film. Uh, this guy has an eye for fantasy and horror. And it's one of the genres he really shines in the most. Now, this guy was going to work with uh, Hideo Kojima on the new Silent Hills game. And, of course, we all know by now that whole deal fell through with Konami. But after his past, you know, uh, attempts in gaming, Guillermo del Toro has vowed to never work in gaming again. Now, this is really unfortunate because not only was I super hyped about his take on the Silent Hill franchise, I was super hyped about anything he did in the video game world. I like to see new talent, people with open imaginations bringing something completely new to the table. And I thought this guy was going to actually be able to do it. But on, in an interview, this is what he said about his future in gaming. Quote, I have proven to be the albatross of video games. I joined THQ and THQ goes broke. I joined Kojima and Kojima leaves Konami. I've decided in order not to destroy anyone else's life, I've decided I will never again get involved in video games. Otherwise, I'll join someone and his house will explode or something. So he really believes that um, every time he gets attached to a property or a project, that it goes under. And it's unfortunate that this has happened with him, with THQ, of course, going under, and this whole deal with uh, Hideo Kojima and Konami. Uh, I think it's really fucked up what happened with Konami how they basically axed everything with Kojima's name on it, including the Silent Hills Project. They let go of Norman Reedus and Guillermo del Toro. And I hope that he doesn't let this type of situation stymie him in the future uh, from working with other developers and other teams that are looking for new and open-minded individuals to bring something new to the gaming world. I mean, it's kind of dry for new ideas. And normally when they come, they come in the form of indies that a lot of people don't get a chance to see. I've seen some great new ideas come in the form of indies, but unfortunately, the thing about indies, a lot of people don't get to play them. Guillermo del Toro would actually bring something in the form of a AAA title, which would be awesome to see. You guys let me know what you think about this. Do you think that he's better off leaving it alone? Do you think that he's possibly the curse? <laughs> Do you think that Guillermo del Toro is the one that's bringing bad luck to THQ or brought bad luck to THQ? And do you think that he has anything to do with Kojima and Konami? Of course not. I think Ko Konami is one of the worst uh, developers worst companies uh, in a very long time. I truly hashtag fuck Konami. That's how I feel about the company as a whole. Uh, they're making a Silent Hill Pachico machine. So if you guys are into that gambling and you want to see Silent Hill, a beloved franchise, turn into a Pachinko machine, check them out. But other than that, hashtag fuck Konami. Use that in your Twitter whenever you talk about them. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.